This is the story of Oscar Brown, the 21-year-old English striker born and bred in Manchester. He's been at Manchester United since the age of 11 and has played at almost every youth level the club has to offer. One of his favourite childhood memories was watching Manchester United back in 2008 with an unbelievable team beating Chelsea in that Champions League final. Ever since then, he's been a massive fan of Wayne Rooney and he considers him as his role model. Oscar's been at the academy for, what, 10 years now, which is a very long time. He's patiently waiting for his opportunity to get into the first team. His dream is to become a first-team Manchester United player, captain them and ultimately win them the Champions League. But hey, if only life was that easy. Oscar's already 21 and at this age he's still in the academy teams and not in the first team and getting promoted at this age is something that doesn't happen. Oscar was in a very difficult situation. His dream was to succeed at Manchester United, but his contract with the club was running out and he had no idea whether the club was going to renew with him or not. And finally, the thing Oscar dreaded the most happened. He was in training one fine day, getting some shooting practice in as he's of course a forward, but he received a message from a youth scout and, well, it wasn't good news at all. Manchester United have decided not to renew Oscar's contract. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer does not want him in the team. Instead, he wants to promote Mason Greenwood into the first team. And the club has decided to part ways with, of course, Oscar Brown. Terrible news for him. But as fate would have it, the very same day, a Real Betis scout came into contact with Oscar Brown asking him for a potential meeting about discussing a move to Spain to play for Real Betis. Now, a completely different country and Oscar Brown doesn't have much options. His contract has run out. No club in England wants him. This was his only shot at being a professional footballer and he went for that meeting. Negotiations seem to be going really well as both parties have agreed upon the wages, but money wasn't really a big factor for Oscar. His biggest concern was whether he can adapt to a new country, whether he can comfortably move to Spain, learn the language, and of course perform in La Liga, a very demanding league. In recent decades, for the most part, English players haven't succeeded abroad. But of course, recently we've seen the rise of Jadon Sancho at Borussia Dortmund, Rhys Nelson as well in the Bundesliga, and with a bit of inspiration from those two youngsters, Oscar Brown decided to take this opportunity. He had no other choice and he's decided to accept the contract for Real Betis. Can he deliver in Spain? Let's find out. Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to the first episode of the My Player Career Mode series. I genuinely can't wait to get this one started. There have been so many comments on the channel asking me to start a My Player Career Mode and finally, we're getting it done. So I'm sure the intro must have explained most of it. We're going to be starting off at Real Betis with Oscar Brown, a young English forward, striker, 6 foot 2 right Footed. You guys can have a quick look at his stats as well. Last year we did a player career mode with a defender, so this time switching things up and doing one with a striker. So if you guys are excited for this brand new My Player Career Mode, I would really appreciate if you guys could drop a like on the video. Let's smash out 1,500 likes for the very first episode of the Player Career Mode series. And if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 19 career mode content. We're going to have a lot of cool stuff involved in this series, from storylines to something called player upgrades, which I'll be explaining soon, to also press interviews. You guys will find out everything as we progress with the series. But first, we've just arrived at Real Betis and the manager wants to have a quick chat with me. So let's have a quick chat with Keke Setien. So the boss has sent Oscar a very nice message and has also welcomed him at the club. But most importantly, he's decided to take Oscar to, of course, the upcoming preseason tour in Italy and he's also promised that he'll start him for a couple of games as well which is brilliant. I'm sure Oscar can't wait to meet his teammates and get started with training. Talking about the Real Betis team and they've got some ballers in there. Paul Lopez in goal, a really good keeper. Mark Bartra as well. William Carvalho. Joaquin, the veteran, a lot to learn from him. Junior Firpo. Lauren and overall this squad is actually unreal. Los Celso as well. Oscar has a lot of work to do if he wants to become a starter 
Hinata here because there is quite a bit of competition. So it's now time for the very first training session at Real Betis and let's get this one underway. We're doing some shooting training. Training is going to be so crucial in this series because at the moment, Oscar is a 66 rated striker. We definitely need to get that rating up. So some shooting practice will definitely help. We're going to simulate the rest of the sessions as well. But apart from training, we're going to have something a bit different in this series to help upgrade his stats. And it's called player upgrades. So in this series, we're going to have something called player upgrades. These are basically going to be objectives that we're going to try and complete over the course of the season. They can be anything from like scoring 10 goals in a season to scoring three bicycle kicks and guess what it's completely up to you guys we're gonna have six objectives and you guys in the comment section are gonna decide every single one of them it's gonna add a lot of fun to this series and there is a reason why it's called player upgrades every time we complete one of the objectives we get a plus two boost on any of the stats of our player so like composure cannot be upgraded through of course gameplay because it just remains at 50 so if we keep completing objectives we can upgrade the composure stat to like 60 or something if we can complete four or five objectives in a season i definitely think these player upgrade objectives are going to add a lot of spice to this series so hopefully you guys can get creative and suggest some awesome objectives to complete and if you are wondering how am i going to upgrade oscar brown stats well we'll be doing that with the cheat engine i'm on the pc version so it just makes things super simple so the italian preseason tour begins now and i can't wait to get started we'll be facing the likes of lazio nice and Hanover, I definitely want to put in some good performances because that could definitely give me a better chance of getting game time when the season begins. Have a look at the competition we're up against this season. Loren and Sergio Leon, who are both 78 rated, I feel like we can certainly compete with them and establish ourselves as the third choice striker. Let's see. So the lineups for this one against Nice are out and Oscar Brown will be making his debut for the club. Starting up front in a two striker formation. The fact that Betis play with the two striker formation means that Oscar Brown is going to get quite a bit of game time this season. A lot of the youth players getting opportunities in this one but also some first team players like Carvalho and Mandy and also Sydney. Here we go preseason officially begins and it's time for Oscar Brown to make his debut for Real Betis. I'm hoping he can put in a good performance as that'll definitely help with his chances when it comes to the La Liga as well as the Spanish top games. Oscar Brown on the attack fake shot beats one goes for goal but it comes off the crossbar that would have been a sensational start to his Real Betis career, but it wasn't to be as Nice might have an opportunity, but the keeper comes good and makes a solid save. So far, it's been an entertaining game, and now we're in the second half. One thing's for sure, it does seem like Oscar Brown is fitting into the team. He's really finding those pockets of spaces. He's moving really well with the ball, without the ball as well. Things are looking good now, as he might have an opportunity here. Brings it inside, goes down inside the box, and that is going to be a penalty for Real Betis. Oscar Brown making an impact on his debut itself. I mean, was that a dive? I'm not so sure about it. Let's take a look at the replay and see if Oscar Brown was being naughty there. He wasn't. It was a penalty and it's going to be Sergio Leon taking the penalty and he ain't going to be making a mistake. It wasn't really a pressure situation. Of course, he's going to score. Oscar Brown celebrates with his teammate Sergio Leon. Since Brown managed to earn his teammate penalty, his confidence in the game has definitely gone up as he's pushing forward. Ball roll inside. Oscar Brown goes for goal. Perfectly timed finesse shot. But the keeper does deny him. Unfortunately, he's not going to get his debut goal. But indeed, a very decent performance as Real Betis get their first win of the preseason. Statistically, it was actually a pretty decent debut. A 7.1 match rating, not bad at all. 85% passing. He couldn't really do much shooting-wise apart from a few shots here and there but not bad at all. And you would have seen that we've unlocked the untucked waist option and 100% I'm going to be using that. It just looks so much better on Oscar Brown. Our next preseason game is against Hanover, but I won't be playing this one because in preseason, there is no need for us to play a game every three days. We get a 1-1 draw from that, but we'll certainly be involved in that Lazio game. A bit of interesting news. Loren has picked up an injury. He'll be out for the next three days, which does mean we probably will start in that game against Lazio. I'm not sure if this is good news or bad news news probably bad news on a personal level but for the team definitely good news as Real Betis have gone ahead and signed Joe Linton the 77 rated striker 
It's a bit unfortunate, man. I was expecting to get more game time, but with another striker coming in, our game time is definitely going to be affected. But at the same time, competition is definitely healthy and we need to keep our level up and continue performing like we did on our debut. Good to see the coach giving us a start in this one against Lazio. I think he was impressed from our first game. Joe Linton starts as well alongside me. Let's see what kind of connection we can build. Apart from that, William Carvalho starts Sydney as well. Let's get it underway. Could we see Oscar Brown score? Scoring his first goal for Real Betis in this one. I'm really hoping he can because him getting his first goal is going to give him a massive confidence boost because he'll need that when the real season begins. He's on a run here. He's beaten one, beats another with a bit of luck. Could he shoot from here? He actually goes for goal and Oscar Brown has done it. He gets himself his first goal for Real Betis and with that a few boosts in his stats like finishing and long shots. And that was a cracking goal as well. What a way to score your first goal for your club. Look at that for a strike. He beats two players comfortably, unleashes a great driven shot with a lot of power behind it, perfectly timed as well, and it was in the back of the net. No chance for the keeper. Looks like even the coach is impressed with that. A wonderful goal and a wonderful first goal from, of course, Oscar Brown. Lazio looking to respond now as it's Badelge on the ball. Ball roll done perfectly, goes for goal, but it's off target. Not the best of attempts there from the Lazio man, but they are trying to get back into this game. Now, of course, we're on the attack once again. Brown linking up really well with new signing Joe Linton. Ball's out wide, cross comes back in, decent cross. The header from Oscar Brown is straight towards the goalkeeper, but it did threaten Lazio. Again, good build-up play from Brown and co. Oscar Brown again on the ball, showcasing his dribbling skills there, but ultimately the ball is won by the Lazio defender. Now Brown again on the attack. Since he scored, his confidence has gone up massively as he plays a fabulous pass to his teammate there. Full time in this one and Oscar Brown's fantastic first half goal was the match winner. A beautiful long shot from him to kickstart his Real Betis career. He'll remember that goal for a long time and because of that he gets himself a Mar de Match award which means a lot of his stats are going up. An 8.3 match rating as well. It was a complete performance from the young Englishman. A lot of touches as well. He was involved a lot in this game, which is what you want to see. Brown's debut goal for Real Betis has certainly caused a lot of hype back in England. As you guys can see, ESPN have posted this. Manchester United reject Oscar Brown shines on his debut for Real Betis. Did the Red Devils make a mistake letting him go? That is something we'll only know for true in the future. So our Italian preseason tour is going pretty well for us as we're in the semi-finals now of this tournament facing Roma. Again, a great opportunity for me to showcase my talents against the top Italian side. After a Mar match performance against Lazio, there's no way the coach was benching me for this one. I'm starting up front with Sergio Leon. Interestingly, we've got Guardado captaining the team in midfield. Christian Tello starts as well. Sydney. And yeah, it's a decent Real Betis side. Let's see if it's good enough to beat Roma. This one's definitely going to be the hardest of our preseason games. It's Roma. They're a very good side with some quality players involved. As you guys can see, they had the first opportunity to score there. Paul Lopez with an easy save. But now another chance. Here's the youngster Justin Kluivert with his left foot. But Paul Lopez again comes clutch with a really, really good save. But again, Roma putting all the pressure on us. Some brilliant build-up plays. Zaniolo with a chance now. And he ain't going to be missing that as he puts Roma into the lead. Our defense just got completely opened up there. The three at the back formation not working at all against Roma as they've taken the lead. But now we might be able to create something. Oscar Brown spreads the play out wide. What even was that for a touch? Just horrendous from that Real Betis player. He does whip in a solid cross though and Sergio Leon comes really close to equalizing things for us, but the post denies him. Oscar Brown with a really nice drag back, finds Guardado, who instead of going for goal, goes for the cross. A big mistake there from him, probably would have resulted in a goal if he would have just tried shooting. Now it's Roma with the cross, decent ball played, and it's a brilliant set piece from Roma. Call it off shot, did cause our keeper a lot of problems, but ultimately we do defend it well. And we get the ball away. But we've pushed way too many players forward. And now Roma have a chance to end this game off. And move on to the finals of the preseason tournament. Keeper does save that. But that was the last attack of this game. And we've been beaten by Roma. No shame in getting defeated to Roma. This was just a preseason game. I think we still played okay. Hopefully when the season starts. We can you know start delivering better performances. This was definitely one to forget for Oscar Brown. Especially considering how good he was in that previous game. In this one he couldn't keep the ball as. 6.5 match rating. His shots were terrible as well. Only 23 touches. 
12 passes completed. He should have done a lot better, but it's, it's Roma. It's a tough team and Oscar definitely needs some more time. Already we've got a bit of drama stirring up in the dressing room as Real Betis have signed Danny Welbeck, which makes no sense. They signed me for a reason to be a nice, good option as a backup forward. And now they've gone ahead and signed two strikers in this window. It just makes no sense. And now ESPN reporting this. Insider reports suggest that Oscar Brown may not be involved in Real Betis' plans for the upcoming coming season as the club have just signed two new strikers Welbeck and Joe Linton could drastically limit his game time it just makes things a lot more interesting let's see what happens in the next episode is Oscar Brown gonna remain at Real Betis or will he be loaned out we're gonna find that out in the next episode we've now become the fifth choice striker here at Real Betis which is a bit frustrating considering we were pretty decent in that preseason scored a great goal and we're looking really promising but Real Betis have just gone ahead and signed a couple of good players for now, let's not worry about all that sort of stuff. We'll keep that for the next episode. Have a look at Oscar Brown's overall right now. We've managed to increase it by one already. I mean, some of his stats do look really good now. Plus two on long shots. Plus three on dribbling as well. Plus one on finishing. And let's just keep making progress and making moves with Oscar Brown. And also look at that. He's got 50 composure. And that's where the new player upgrade objectives thing is going to work out really well for us. So any suggestions for objectives, put it down in the comment section below. But that's it for the first episode of this player career mode. Really hope you guys have enjoyed this. And if you guys did, a like would be awesome. Subscribe if you're new around here. And hopefully I'll bring you guys an episode tomorrow of this series. It's been fun to record. And yeah, I'll catch you guys next time.